Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a Russian T-90 tank using a handheld grenade launcher, states the General Staff of Ukraine. The remnants of the enemy's T-90 tank now lie decaying in the field alongside its crew. Our soldiers eliminated this pride of the enemy's defense industry with a handheld grenade launcher during one of the countless assaults, reported the General Staff. The military noted that the scrap metal left from the Russian tank serves as a reminder to the occupiers that the indomitable spirit of the Ukrainian people cannot be broken. It should be noted that Russian tankers are now mostly using more cautious tactics supporting infantry and employing technologies and techniques that implicitly reduce the effectiveness of even highly capable javelin missiles supplied by the US. This is part of a broader, ongoing process of adaptation by Russia's military attempting to correct at least some of its least successful tactics from early in the war. Russian tanks, especially old ones, are also being used as indirect fire artillery. While this use is inefficient due to their low angle of fire, tanks are sufficiently protected to provide indirect support in higher risk areas where artillery and munition supply convoys would be at grave risk of destruction, particularly from aerial attacks or counter-battery artillery salvos. Even the antiquated T-54 and T-62 tanks that Russia has deployed to Ukraine pose a serious battlefield threat when there are a limited number of long-range anti-tank guided missiles. Their big guns still leave them more effective in many fire support roles than most BMPs with smaller, shorter-range cannons, 